Kevin, congratulations. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, just, just wondering kind of what the process was like for you. Um, what through your agent, obviously, uh, what talks were like and kind of how you're feeling now, um, with this contract extension. Um, so overall, I feel great about how we got it done. Um, the process at, at times can be a little stressful uh, because both sides want something, but I think we came to a pretty good um, solution in the end that everybody felt good about. Was was it important to you to or your and your representative to um, get this done before the sort of the more formal waves of free agency began, or was that not something that really came up for you? Um, I wouldn't say it was like a really important thing. It was just I one of the things that I would rather had done if I can get something done with uh, with the Rams, then I was ready to do that rather than have to do too much talks in the free agency market. And then, um, you know, adding Jonah Jackson and then um, talk of moving Steve Avila inside, um, the idea of you three up front together, um, have you given that thought at this point? Do you know Jonah well at all? And what is your overall takeaway of uh, of a front that features you three? Uh, I haven't really got to uh, meet Jonah, uh, but I know of him and how good he is. So. I know this just adding to the offensive line, and I feel like um, Steve will be able to to adapt and uh, I guess learn the position. Awesome, thank you, Dennis. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Doing great. Good. Um, what was the major selling point for you to come back to the Rams? Um, I think for me personally, it's. Um, being able to come back to a place where for for the set, I mean, coming back to the same coach and the same system for two years in a row, and then being being in a place that's um, that's actually uh, like really enjoyable to be in outside of football. Also, uh, it was a big selling point for me where it was just like the how I felt day to day here. I mean, how I felt day to day in California. Okay, thank you. Stu? Kevin, when I talked to you when you got here in August, you knew exactly what the opportunity was in front of you and knowing that uh, and knew that you had to, you know, capitalize to effectively put yourself in the position you're in today. So the fact that you were able to do that and, you know, were effectively rewarded the way you were, what did it mean to you to, be able to, I guess, you know, get this extension and, and have this day come. It was great. It was, it was really um, fulfilling to be able to set my mind on something, um, find the plan of, of attack and uh, being able to really go through with it. Uh, it felt great, man. It just feels, feels like I came in there with a mission I was able to check all the boxes, even uh, even more than I even believed I was going to. So it, it definitely felt good. And and you've obviously talked about in the past about you know how much of a difference it made uh, being at your natural what you feel is your natural position, right guard specifically. Um, but even just beyond that, what is it about this system that you really enjoy playing in? Like you'd mentioned, as one of the big uh, selling points for coming back. Well, for me, it's it's freedom. Um, and I guess just knowing, knowing the system, uh, so much that I can be free in the, in the way of like thinking less, uh, and being able to run off the ball, uh, doing what I have to without having to second guess myself. Thank you. Appreciate it. And congratulations. Thank you. Adam. Hey, Gavin. Congratulations, man. Appreciate. Uh, I wonder if you could go back to September, like you know you're going into a contract year, and you find out that you've been traded right before the season starts. Like, 
what's your reaction to that? What's going through your head? And how does it feel to have like reached this moment after what I would imagine felt like some uncertainty there in September? Yeah, it was definitely, you say, uh, uh, anxiety inducing. Um, I kind of knew uh, what it could possibly be, but you're just hoping that it, it's different. Try to go through camp without, you know, changing who I am. Try not to have any resentment and stuff like that. Um, but I knew when I had the opportunity that it was one of those things that I was going to have to take. Uh, so it was like either sit at Pittsburgh and most likely become a backup or come to the Rams uh, for a little less and still be able to have a chance of becoming um, a starter. And uh, I think I just took that chance on myself. And that's why I say it feels so good to feel like I, I fulfilled my mission. Was it like especially like nerve wracking to take that chance, given you knew you were going to a, like a completely different system? I know you talked after your first start about it wasn't really until week four that you really felt comfortable within the offense. Like, so was that kind of part of that anxiety? Yeah, because it's 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 not like I, I was coming here guaranteed to start. Um, I wasn't guaranteed to start, so when I did get my chance, or when I wasn't getting the uh, play time at the time, I, I didn't know how it was going to happen, or how I was going to get that play time, or when I was ever going to get that play time. I knew I just needed a chance to just show what I could do. And once I got that opportunity, that's when I had to take full advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, we talked to Les about a week before you signed or you agreed to terms. And he was talking about how he kind of expected you to go to the market and test your value in the free market. What was it that kind of changed there in that last week before you made your agreement? Like, how did things kind of speed up in the process? Uh, I just think we had pretty good communication with each other, and my agent is uh, really good at um, being able to get um, being able to get us to that point where everybody felt comfortable, and uh, you know, being able to get into the situation where we're having talks about respectable numbers uh, pretty early on. And I think they did a good job of you know not going going uh how the usual route goes uh because i use i asked a lot of people who've been in contracts before well, like what's the first how it's gonna start stuff like that and they said usually teams give you like a really really small starting point just to like kind of haggle and they didn't really haggle too much with me or try to start lowballing me at the beginning so it felt everything felt respectable uh, from the beginning to the end. So I think they made the process easy too. Thanks, Kevin. Gary? Hey, Kevin. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, just wanted, I had one question. You know, when you're going through this process, are your teammates chiming in at all? I mean, trying to recruit you to return or they, or they just kind of leave you alone and, and let you work through this? Um, they overall know that it's, it's going to be my final decision. Uh, they know that teams going to do what they what they need to do. I talked to people before about what they what their process was like, and um, I know a lot of people on the team were talking to me about they did want me to come back. So, and I wanted to come back, so it was it was pretty much didn't really need to be said. Thanks very much. Yes, sir. All right, we wrap up with you, Greg. Hey, Kevin, congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you said during the season that it was actually kind of a blessing that it, there, there were positives to being traded so late in camp and arriving here so late because when you got here, your life was pretty much all about football. You were learning, and you didn't have a life set up in L.A. yet. Did you learn yeah. anything about preparation during during this season that you can carry into the next season now that you have a home and, and, you, and you're and you going to have a life here? I think, I, I think one of the things that I learned from um, – getting here is that I can't adapt um, 
to, to different situations. And that, that kind of helps me boost myself in uh, different scenarios and knowing that I could do this. It, it gives you a little more confidence in yourself um, that you second guess yourself less because I was definitely second guessing myself on even coming to the realms. And um, like I had a bunch of people telling me, oh, you're going to go there. You're going to be good. You're going to be, you're going to be good. And I was second guessing myself the whole time until I got to play. And then I started feeling confidence again. So I just got to know that I can be confident from the beginning. Um, and I guess starting fast, starting strong is, can be way easier than I um, initially thought. Mm -hmm. And thinking about the offense in general, you guys are going to have a lot of continuity next year. There's not a lot of guys who are leaving. You know, you're adding some guys, but it's 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 not always been a team that had consistency and, and continuity year to year. How how much can that help when, when, like you were saying, you're back in the same system, same guys, all that kind of stuff? Man, the more that you can have the same people, uh, the better and more confidence we play with, uh, the more – belief in the person next to you so it, it's always it's always good to have that same group or at least close to that same group um so we can all have that mindset even more than we did the year uh prior so it's, at offensive line it's it's one of the best things to have that kind of continuity thanks hey uh jordan had one quick one i hope yeah it's very quick thank you thanks for taking a follow-up kevin um just a more of a big picture question. Um, this is your this is your first like big negotiation with you know with your agent, and obviously that relationship has developed over the course of years. Um, how do players or how do you how do you decide um, you know who is who you're going to pick in that regard? And then also, how do you develop that trust and that relationship, knowing that when you launch into an actual negotiation for the first time, there's a lot of that unspoken groundwork that's already been laid. I think for agents, for agents, the start off can be the like when I when I picked them out of college. Uh, I think we've been laying that groundwork for about three or four years, so I understood what what he was capable of because uh, you know just talking to him about his other players and stuff that he has um, and the Balanji group as a whole and how they uh, operate. Uh, it just gave me confidence that he would be able to get the job done. Um, the people he works with, every single person that I've ever talked to that, that he works with, uh, and has never had a bad thing to say with, about him. So it's always been pretty good from, getting, from beginning to now, and um, can't wait to wait work, work with him some more.